telling everybody when they say, ah, you know, you, you didn't beat Alabama. It's not like Wentz beat Ohio State. Uh, the level of competition. If you can play, you can play. That's, uh, that's how I see it. I don't care where you come from, D3, NAIA, Division II, Division I, it doesn't matter. SEC. Exactly. Everyone's got to make an adjustment. If you can play, you can play. And I'm. he get away from all these free rushers and make throws like that Carson Wentz out for the year with a torn ACL in his left knee he suffered the injury against the Los Angeles Rams on a scramble play in which he scored a touchdown but it was called back due to a penalty the crazy part about this is that Carson stayed in there he played four more snaps and he threw a touchdown all while having a torn ACL. That's toughness, ladies and gentlemen. That is toughness. This is obviously a big, big blow to the Eagles as they lose arguably the front runner for the MVP. But I don't think that it's all over. I still believe the Eagles can make a deep run into the playoffs and potentially into the Super Bowl. I'm going to give you four reasons why. I think the Eagles can still make it work and I'm going to give you a couple reasons why I believe that the Eagles can rally around Nick Foles and like I said potentially make the Super Bowl. Now I know it's going to be hard to replace the production that Carson Wentz has put up. 3,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, he led the Eagles to an 11-2 record, probably the number one seed in the NFC. 
You can't replace that. The guy has taken off in his second year. He definitely looks like a top three quarterback in the NFL. Definitely a franchise quarterback for the Eagles. I mean, wow, this is just a crazy, crazy blow to the Eagles, and it really sucks. But I don't think it's all over. I still think the Eagles have potential. I still think they can go to the playoffs, make a deep run, and possibly make it into the Super Bowl. And who knows? Once you make it to the Super Bowl, anything can happen. But like I said, I'm going to give you four reasons why I think the Eagles can still make it happen. The number one reason is they have to run the football at least 30 to 40 times a game. In my opinion, the Eagles have one of the best offensive lines in the game. Um, and they need to use the three-headed monster that they have. They just acquired Jay Ajayi. He's looked awesome. They have LeGarren Blunt, one of the game's best finishers. He can he can finish a game for you whenever you need to milk the clock and they have Chris Clement who's looked explosive somehow they need to find a way to give these guys 30 to 40 carries a game combined and they need to control time of possession another reason why they need to control time of possession is because they have to rely on their fourth ranked defense yes I know the Eagles offense is explosive but let's not forget another reason why the Eagles are in the position that they are is due to their defense. I mean, their defense is pretty damn good. They rank fourth in total defense. They're also ranked 13th against the pass and they're number one against the run. I mean, if Nick Foles and the offense can put some points up, I'm pretty positive the defense will keep them in some games and possibly win them some games. Now, the third reason, I think the Eagles will rally around Nick Foles. I mean, the Eagles, they need to believe and they need to be confident in the quarterback that they have. I mean, I know Nick Foles is not Carson Wentz, but Nick Foles is definitely better than a lot of other starting quarterbacks around the league. Let's not forget Nick Foles just threw for 27 touchdowns and he only threw two interceptions just a couple years ago under Chip Kelly. Now, the fourth and the main reason I think the Eagles will get it done, they're going to believe and they're going to be confident. I mean, I know it's going to be tough when you lose your front runner and possibly the MVP, but the Eagles, they have plenty of talent on the team to compete. They have plenty of veterans, and I think a lot of people are writing them off, but I think they're going to get it done. They're going to run the ball. They're going to play great defense, and let's not forget the formula to win Super Bowls, run the ball, and play good defense. Defense wins championships, ladies and gentlemen. That's all for me, folks. Please, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also. Please remember to subscribe. We're going to be starting a podcast very, very soon. For all your sports news, please visit us on the web, www.killthatnoise.com. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at underscore kill that noise. Also, if you guys have any ideas or any videos that you would like me to make about baseball, football, basketball, just drop a comment down below and I'll definitely take it into consideration. Once again, guys, thanks for tuning in and make sure to follow us.